Hey there everyone, it is Sarah Walker here of the Sisters Enchanted. I'm one of the founders of the Sisters Enchanted and here it is our mission to make magic mainstream and create a community so that enchanted sisters all over the world can come together, step into their light, and make some magic in their lives. And I am bringing you the Oracle Scope, the Tarot Scope, this is a Tarot Scope, for October 2017. So the way that we run these here at the Sisters Enchanted is we pull cards for the four elements related to the signs. So if you are an earth sign, a fire sign, a water sign, or an air sign, and we group them together and we pull some cards for you. Now here is what we've got going on this month and I am using the Smith Weight Tarot Deck Centennial Edition, in case you're wondering. Um, and I pulled a card for the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, around the new moon, and then the end of the month for Samhain. So let's see what we've got going on. First up are our air signs. We've got our three cards right here. Um, and the card that I pulled for the beginning of the month, right around our full moon in Aries, which lands on October 5th, that's a Thursday, is the Five of Cups. So what's super cool here is we have that um, full moon in Aries, which is a fire sign. And so this is for our air signs. So if you are a Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius, this is for you. Um, so our full moon is October 5th and it's in Aries, so it's a, a fire sign. Um, so there's a lot of energy there, a lot, a, lot, a lot happening with that full moon. The thing with the full moon in Aries though, is that there's so much energy that the stuff that you do there might not have a lot of staying power, so keep that in mind. Sorry, it's this hair it keeps blowing my face with the ceiling fan on. Um, but, so anyway, the full moon's on the fifth, and here I have a five card, the five of cups for you, um, which is really interesting. We've got these fives lining up. So five can be a really super abundant number. So that's good to know. Um, but here we've got the five of cups. So the five of cups is a reminder to look at all of the things that you still have going for you when everything seems to be going poorly. So try not to focus on the stuff that's not going well at the beginning of this month and focus on the stuff that is going well for you. Um, so like I said, there might not be a lot of staying power with things we do during the full moon in Aries. Of course, that's not always the case, but that's just kind of a general idea of rule of thumb going on there. Um, so if you are doing something here, maybe this would be a really good time the beginning of the month here to kind of say all right so maybe these things aren't going the way I thought they would if you're an air sign but there's still so much coming my way so this might be a really good time um, at the full moon we say it's good for both releasing and manifesting in my opinion but for our air signs here this might be a good time for you to actually release this stuff and focus on this stuff over here so what are you gonna release the stuff that seems like it's not so great and bring in more of this stuff here that is amazing if you are an air sign so Gemini a Libra or an Aquarius at the center the center of the month the middle of the month right around that new moon energy which is coming up on October 19th and that's a new moon in Libra you got the three of pentacles which is really fascinating because a new moon in Libra calls for you to kind of have that like um, energy of working with other people so building relationships um, you know with your family strengthening those bonds things like that and this is our teamwork card so it's pretty cool uh, so here with the three of pentacles around the new moon that might be a good time to set some intentions around um, building family practices, strengthening relationships, communication, um, strengthening things with your partner, whatever that may look like. So if you're an air sign, think about what's going on with those around you at the new moon and maybe do something to strengthen those bonds. And then if you are an air sign for Samhain at the end of the month, um, season of the witch, our favorite time of the year, we have the emperor. So, you know, for you, this is, I, I, I'm reading this as like, you know, like this is your time to shine. Like this is your space. So if you're an air sign here at the end of the month um, of October, um, with Samhain coming up, just, I feel like you're going to be really at home in your space and like, you're gonna feel like I'm the ruler of what's happening right now. I feel really good about it. I'm knowledgeable. I'm going to have my feast. I'm going to celebrate um, commercial Halloween, all these fun things, and I'm gonna feel good about it. Uh, so what the vibe that I'm getting here for those air signs at the end of the month is just know that like you've got this, you're at home and you're, this is your time. You're at home and you're in the environment, you're at home in the season, this is your, this is your place right now. Um, and that's what I'm feeling for the air signs. So now at the end of the month, you know, if you begin the month 
feeling a little bit like, oh, woe's me, but focus in on that good stuff with that full moon in Aries. At the new moon in Libra, you know, uh, spend some time working with your family, uh, your committed relationships, you know, um, uh, solidifying those relationships and building your, your family relationships together or friends too. Spend some time doing that at the new moon and at the end of the month, just feel at peace like, yep. So I've done so much work, I've released, I've worked with my family, I've built some strong foundations here, and now I'm going to I'm going to bring in the season feeling amazing about myself and my life and all that's going on around me. Uh, so that's what I'm feeling for you if you are an air sign. Super cool. All right, so if you are an earth sign, I'm just checking these cards out here. If you're an earth sign, so a Taurus, a Virgo, or my Capricorns, I'm talking to you. Um, at the beginning of the month with that full moon in Aries, which is hitting us around the fifth, I pulled you the six of swords. So here I feel like with this, um, so our earth signs, right? This, this energy, this Aries moon energy might be like a little bit much for you. <laughs> um, so if you're feeling like that's the case, you might be feeling the need to kind of like get away, run and hide, <laughs> you know, spend some time alone. And that's totally cool. So the beginning of the month for our earth signs, I'm feeling like this will be a good time for you to kind of, um, you know, just take some, like get away, take some space for yourself. Um, that, you know, could be something as small as going grocery shopping by yourself. It could be actually going overnight somewhere, whatever that may be. Um, you know, maybe skipping an event, maybe like if you always take your kid to some practice or game, or whatever it might be, you just sit this one out. Um, that's totally fine. But find some space for yourself at the beginning of the month if you are one of our earth signs. Um, again, if you're a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, at the new moon in Libra, um, I am feeling the Empress for you. So this is a really like fertile, nurturing, abundant, loving card. And with this new moon in Libra, I'm feeling like around the center of the month here would be a good time again for you to take care of yourself. So, you know, nurture yourself here. And maybe as you're setting your new moon intentions, um, set the intention to spend some time on you as the end of the year comes up. So if you are, you know, here, especially in the Northern hemisphere, you know, this gets really like this time of year can be really crazy as far as, and if you're in, um, you know, like North America, I know we have like, uh, in the U S we've got Halloween, Thanksgiving, it's Christmas, New Year. it's just like constant. So if you find yourself in that position where it's just like constant things rolling one after the other, definitely schedule in some time for yourself. And then with Samhain, I'm getting the strength card. So another, like really you find the power in the season card for you. So similar to our air signs, you know, know that this is your season. Um, you're gonna, you know, to, to harness that power. Um, maybe you might want to, as we move into the dark months, um, do a little protection spell or something like that for yourself, um, for your family, for your house, uh, not to protect against anything in particular, but it's just traditional at this season um, because of the, the dark, um, the shorter days, the colder days, the shorter days and the colder days coming in if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it is tradition to do some protection work. Um, and that was more um, in tradition to make sure that your your cattle, like, you know, lived through the season, you lived through the season, and you had enough food and supplies and whatnot. Um, so maybe do some fun stuff like that here. So for our Earth signs, we've got the Six of Swords, so take some time for yourself. Um, at the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, continue to nurture yourself, really schedule that time in if you think you need to. And then at the end of the month, find strength in the season. You're gonna feel really good about how this wraps up here. And again, you can um, do some of those traditional like protection practices also. All right, our fire signs. Raise your hand if you're a fire sign. I'm Sagittarius. So if you are an Aries, if you are a Sagittarius, or if you are a Leo, I'm talking to you with our fire signs. So at the beginning of the month with our um, full moon in Aries, uh, we have that superpower fiery energy going on. So remember though that if your sun sign is a fire sign, that doesn't speak to your moon sign. So my moon sign is um, Aquarius, which is an air sign. Um, but that doesn't mean that my sun sign is not impacted here. So I can still see like, you know, that fiery energy, you know, that might play over a little bit in my like day to day workings. Um, but you know, just bear that in mind that you do have a moon sign also. So if you're not sure what it is, I would suggest looking it up. Anyway, so for our full moon on October 5th in Aries, at the beginning of the month, I have here 
the eight of pentacles for us. So if you are a fire sign at the beginning of the month, know that whatever it is that you've been working on, you're kind of up leveling in that area. So maybe you've been learning it, you've been studying it, you've been trying to do this new thing. Maybe it's a new job, maybe it's a new relationship, maybe it's um, something you're creating yourself, but you're getting past that like, you know, you're you're right at that, that spot where you're like, um, you're still learning a little bit, but you're able to kind of take it on your own from here if you really had to. So know that you're making progress here with this full moon in Aries. So for us in the fire signs, I would suggest this is a really good time to manifest. So if you are a fire sign with the full moon in Aries, I am looking at this as a sign that this is a good time for you to keep putting some manifesting energy into whatever it is that you've been trying to bring into your life rather than focusing on release right now. For the middle of the month, the new moon in Libra, we have here, sorry, I'm totally just like blanking on what I was thinking, the nine of pentacles. Um, sorry about that, I'm having like a total brain fart. So at the nine of pentacles, if you are a fire sign and with the new moon in Libra on October 19th, um, that kind of middle of the month, so a few days before, a few days after, we've got the nine of pentacles here. So I'm seeing this really as like a follow-up to what we manifested at the beginning of the month coming to fruition at the center of the month here with our new moon. So that's pretty cool. So I'm seeing that if we're still working hard, we're putting energy behind whatever it is that we've been working on as a fire sign, um, that we're gonna see it really um, bringing abundance in and all that we wish for, um, you know, coming up for us here in the middle of the month. And at the end of the month with Samhain, I'm seeing the judgment card if we are fire signs. So fire signs, I'm fire signs, Sagittarius. Uh, then the judgment card is what I'm pulling for us. So what I am reading this as is about is like a, a, a twofold thing. So with judgment, we have to balance, right? You've got to make decisions, choices. And here at Samhain, we have the light ending, the dark starting. It's a time when we say that the, the veil is really thin and we're able to do spirit work and ancestor work and listen to messages coming through more easily, connect with our spirit guides. And so if you are a fire sign, I am thinking that the judgment card is here to point out to us that as the season is ending, you know, we might feel a little bit more like torn in what we're doing. So after we've felt this accomplishment, felt these successes, it's like what happens next? And this may be impacting us a little bit more during the season with the thinning of the veil. So we might be a little bit more caught up between our conscious and our subconscious than normal. Um, so if you find that being the case here, just, you know, listen, try to listen to your gut, do some intuition work, maybe some divination work here and, and choose which path to take going forward. Remember, you can always change your path. You're not committed to one once you've, once you've picked it. Um, you can always change your mind and do something else. But so here I'm seeing for the fire signs that we may be impacted by this thinning of the veil and these kind of two worlds coming together a little bit more than normal at the end of October around Samhain. And then what do we have left? Our water signs. So for our water signs, our Cancers, our Scorpios, and our Pisces, I'm looking at you. Um, so you guys got a, a pretty cool card here. So for the first poll, the first week-ish or so of the month around October 5th, when we have our full moon in Aries, I've got the lovers, the lovers, lovers for you. <laughs> so the lovers card came up for our water signs for the beginning of October. Um, so here again, this is like a, a two for thing, you know, it could be choices, could be romantic relationships, it could be something, you know, your self-love relationship, lovers can look at a lot of things, but with that full moon in Aries, what I'm seeing here combined with the lovers card for the beginning of the month is that I, I'm sensing this as relationships or choices made here or places where you put your energy, you know, might not have a lot of like sticking power. So if you're putting a lot of energy into a relationship at the beginning of the month, or you're really trying to solve a problem, or you know, you're trying really hard like communication wise, or you're trying to make um, a serious choice or a really important choice, I feel like maybe right now might not be the best time to do that. Maybe either, maybe wait until like a couple days after the full moon before going forward or before really like putting the pedal to the metal with whatever relationship work that it is that you're doing. 
um, because with this full moon in Aries, I'm not seeing a whole ton of staying power here. Um, and for our water signs, you know, those emotions are easily impacted by the fieriness <laughs> of the full moon. So I would suggest waiting on matters of love, the heart, and decision making um, right now if you are a water sign. So for the middle of the month with our new moon in Libra around October 19th, I've got the two of wands. So here we have another like two card, another balance, another of that like two things aspect going on. But here in the middle of the month, I feel like you're going to feel much better than you did in the beginning of the month. Like the beginning of the month, I feel like you're going to feel just like, like overwhelmed with the urge to make a choice or fix something or solve a communication problem, but it's not going to be the best time to do it. I think if you wait till the middle of the month, um, if you are a water sign, you're going to feel like that the world is in my hands. I can do anything I put my mind to energy. So I think the middle of the month is going to be a much better time for you to act and make choices and whatnot if you are a water sign. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then at the end of the month around Samhain, I've got the Seven of Pentacles, um, which makes sense because if you're taking action at the center of the month, you know, two weeks later, you're probably still going to be working on that thing. So around Samhain, I see that you're going to be putting in some work still. You might be a little bit tired, but know that you can keep going forward. Um, and even as we're transitioning into the dark months, we're getting quieter, we're moving into the resting season of the year. Um, and this guy's literally resting on his little, his uh, shovel there, or his rake, or whatever that is. <laughs> know that you still can keep doing the work. You can still keep um, progressing towards what it is you're trying to achieve. So if you're a water sign, again, so our Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, the beginning of the month with the full moon in Aries, I recommend you not really making choices surrounding the matter matters of love, of love the heart, um, or just like big decisions right now. Wait till the middle of the month around that new moon in Libra, and you are going to feel much better, like, able to like you've got everything right there for you all the opportunities for you and at the end of the year or the end of the month around Samhain um, October 31st to November 1st here I feel like you're gonna you know definitely feel that resting season coming in like you're gonna want to rest but know that you've made progress you can keep making progress going forward you certainly don't have to don't have to call it a day right now and so that's it that is your tarot scope for October 2017 um, if you are seeing this somewhere on the internet and you don't already hang out with us, come hang out with us in our Facebook group at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash the sisters enchanted uh, and find out what it is that we are up to all the time over there. Thank you so much for checking in on this video and we'd really appreciate it if you would like, share and all that good stuff and send this out in, into the world to people that you think might be interested in hearing our tarot scopes. All right, so thank you so much and we'll see you guys next month. Bye.